Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to convert characters and factors to numeric in the R programming language. So in the video I'm going to show you two examples and in the first example I'm going to convert a character string to numeric and for the example I'm going to use this example data so by running the fourth line of our code you can create this data and after running this code you can see that at the top right of our studio the value r char appears we can also have a look at the data and as you can see it's just a simple vector of characters now if we want to convert this character vector to numeric we can apply the s numeric function um, so if you run line six of our code you can see that um, at the top right a new data object appears and if we have a look at this data you can see that now this data object is numeric you can see that by the uh, quotation signs or you could also use the class function as I'm doing here at the bottom in the RStudio console to get the class of your data and as you can see the converted data object is now numeric so let's move on to the second example and in the second example I'm going to show you how to convert a factor to numeric and in this second example I'm going to use the data that we can create with line 11 of our code so if you run this code you can see another data object is um, appearing at the top right of our R studio and again here we can also have a look at the data and as you can see this is now a factor again you can also apply the class function here so if you want to check the variable class you can see that our example data is a factor so now you might think that you could apply the s numeric function as before without any problems so let's try this here with line 13 but now if you have a look at the data you can see that the values are different compared to our input vector yeah, so if you compare that here the first element of our input vector is 8 but the value that is returned here is the value 4 the second value would be 4 and here the second value would be 1 so as you can see the s factor function automatically converts the factor levels from 1 to infinity so in our case 1 2 3 and 4 however usually um, I would say that we want to keep the numbers uh, of our input vector and we can do that by simply first converting our data to character with the s character function and then afterwards convert this character to numeric so this is a little trick that usually is applied when you want to convert a factor vector to numeric so if we run this line of code and if we have a look at the data again you can see that the values of our numeric data are now exactly the same as they have been in the original data yeah so this is basically what i wanted to show you in this video however of course there might be more complex situations in which we want to apply the um, s numeric function and uh, if you want to learn more about that, you could go to my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have already published several tutorials, more precisely one tutorial on the conversion of character to numeric and another tutorial on the conversion of factor to numeric. And uh, if you want to learn more about these functions or about these data type conversions, you could go to my website and I will also put the links to these tutorials in the description of this video. Yeah, so if you have liked the video, I would be happy if you subscribe to my YouTube channel and if you leave me a comment and then see you next time for more R tutorials. See you, bye bye.